<laughs> yeah. 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 Um, but I think, of course, if you use C sharp, it works a bit faster. Yeah. I think it's a little bit uh, commercial talk to say that the same speed. Uh, but I get close. But what I am thinking, personally, is that Apple could say it has to be written in C sharp. Oh, interesting. I hope they don't. Yeah, really. Want that Java virtual machine, man? Right once run anywhere. It's C sharp. It gets picky. Because Apple, I mean, Apple is the boss. Yeah. But he, I had a really interesting talk with Unity about it because everybody's afraid. Will they close Unity? Right. Well, why do they put on most of the front page of advertising games, games made with Unity? Well, uh, if they're gonna close that, that's their billboard closing. But a week, a week before the launch of CS5, they were saying the big selling feature was it ports to. Uh, the iPhone. That was a week before their launch. Their yeah, launch. for the CS5. Yeah, but they knew already that Apple would say no. Everybody knew. I don't know. I don't Apple, know they, Apple they always said from the beginning, no, we don't allow it. We're not gonna. We can. They always made it clear. They, they always said they didn't allow it in the browser, but not. That, they said they didn't allow it in the browser. They didn't say yeah, anything about it. Yeah, almost browser. everybody knew they were against the <laughs> app in the browser. They, it doesn't work between them. Yeah, but what's the big problem though? Like, it's just a Flash player. It's not Apple, like a new operating system. Apple. Apple doesn't trust Flash's security. Yes. Well, yeah, Mind you, yeah, I wouldn't yeah, trust. They're making all these excuses. Yes. Yeah. The deal yeah, is I that it cannibalizes the app store sales. Yeah. If you can go to the browser and play tons of games, and then and then you're not buying games in the app store. That's one. Second, yeah. they're trying to cook up their own solution. They're throwing support. They say they're throwing support behind HTML5, but what they're really doing is they're throwing support behind a sort of a bastardized HTML5 that can only run on their stuff. So when they ran a showcase last week of HTML5, not to hijack, uh, it was like HTML5 it only used a couple of the HTML5 like canvas tags, and the rest of it was CSS, and it would only run in Safari, the new version of Safari. So no way. way. Yeah, it was, it's gross. <laughs> they are full of beans, those guys. Yeah, but nobody knows the real, I think, the deal. What's going on behind the real? I think they're trying to, they want their own competing product. Yeah. But yeah, who knows? Whatever. Who knows? Yeah. But they're spreading a lot of misinformation, for sure. Yes, that's true, and it's all confusing. But the terms of terms of service changed again Friday, uh, and they said it's what we don't like, basically. I think it's just Mr. Bill Gates bad mouthing that evil Mr. Jobs. Oh, different different dude. It's Mr. Uh, it's, what's the Adobe guy? Any guy? I don't know his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But. Yeah. We will see what happens, and that's why a lot of people are really looking for for the Android platform. Yeah, uh, I, all those uh, problems are not there. Uh, of course, if Flash exports to it, there will be a lot of garbage coming out too. Yep, you cannot deny that. Not like the App Store where there's no garbage. <laughs> 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 that garbage argument, come on, that's no, all water. I, I I totally agree. There's a lot of but that's a problem with the App Store too. Yep. Is that there's a lot of uh, if, even there's great games made up there. They never see the daylight. Yeah. They never get no noticed because there's so much garbage coming out. But the same if they thing, like with Flash. I mean, how many times now? You never really. I mean, you have to go digging for decent Flash content. Most of it now is for advertising. You get people sashaying across the middle of your freaking screen while you're trying to freaking read the news. It's just like go away. Well, that's that's not a Flash issue though. I know, people, but that's a, that's abusive software. I I realize that people will use any technology they can to make a broken and block your view. Yeah, it's not Flash. Yeah. Currently, they're using Flash. You get rid of Flash, something new will pop up like a zombie. Well, lately, whenever I see those things, I, I've been giving feedback on Yahoo and whatnot, saying, I hate this, and I hate you, I hate this, and I hate you, and I hope if enough people do that, they'll stop having freaking idiots sashay out in the middle of my screen. Uh, just run uh, Firefox, and there's an ad block on it. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's over Chrome, too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is not an example. If you talk about a block, as a Farmville. Mm -hmm. Farmville revenue. Plunged. No way. When Why? They, when they changed the terms of service on Facebook, was that? When they could change, when people could click on hide uh, Farmville invitation, that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it did. And then there was a big fight between them, and they were going to say, we're, we're going to take Farmville off of the Facebook platform and Great. cook up our own portal. Correct. And they had a big crap, and they said, okay, basically, 
we're not going to take, because they're coming out with Facebook credits, they're going to take 30%. Zynga does not want them taking 30% of the millions they're making on a farm book, a farm bill, so they're farm book. Book. <laughs> they, yeah, farm book. they came up, yeah. with, they came up yeah. with a deal, so basically everybody else pays them 30% except Zynga. Zynga's like their flagship, you know, they'll let it slide kind of thing. <gasps> yeah. The farm bill yeah. ID was actually taken from a Chinese company, apparently. Oh, yeah? It's funny. Yeah. 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 I don't think farm bill would succeed at all if it was in its own portal. Well, it's coming to the uh, App Store, so that'll be interesting. Yeah. It's, it's coming to the App Store? They just announced at WD, WWDC that it's coming to the App Store, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> My wife will never work anymore. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> like, thank God it's a portable device. I'm, I'm really wondering when uh, World of Warcraft comes out to iPhone, uh, on yeah. the iPhone. <laughs> oh, do they have, they have All apps? the geeks from in the basement go, we'll see the first time of daylight. They yeah. Have, yeah. yeah. Do they have apps that will uh, allow you to control, like, personal shops and stuff like that. Like, I don't play World of Warcraft, but my friend's got this thing on his phone where he's, like, controlling his personal shops from his... Your friend. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I play different MMOs. <laughs> Are there any other questions? Can otherwise I give an overview of Unity more, or, like, it's just... I wanna, I, because there's so much differences of the people, I don't want to keep on, hey, do an intro to 3D, hey, to Unity, because then most people will fall asleep, I think, here. That ad mobs thing is really exciting. Yeah, that sounds. So yeah, really you definitely. But uh, if I was you, maybe integrate it now. If you can do it fast, otherwise in a few months, really look at the i uh, i ad. That will be it. So, but or uh, ad mobs integrated with the Android uh, game, make, make simple uh, simple games. If you can, or more complex games, it's pretty easy to do it. Okay, my sign language is it. Something you can do also, come up with an ID and test it out. Uh, and the good thing is that you can see all your stats of download, how many people downloaded, and then with the app box you can actually see a lot more. You can see from which country they came to, uh, what times. It's, it's really interesting where you all can see how many people from which country can actually click. So you can really, if you see like, wow, there's a lot of that country coming, maybe you should make a localized version in that country. Uh, do you know much about the uh, the new uh, Xbox Live service they have on uh, the iPhone? I forget what they call it. Game? No. Game no. or something? I never looked into that. Yeah. So, I'm very excited about Unity exploring to the Xbox. Do so you need a dev kit for that? I heard you did. Yeah, you need a dev kit. So yeah, for the Xbox, it's just pretty easy to get. That. Yeah? Yeah, that's easy. Yeah. I heard it was expensive. I heard it was another 10, 20 grand to get the dev kit. No, I don't think so. For XBLA? Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah. It's not Xbox Live Indie Games. That's the thing yeah. that people are confusing. It's, it's, uh, yeah. it's XBLA. Yeah, so uh, the barrier is going to be there, just like it was with WiiWare. Twenty grand yeah. for the dev kit. You need an office. Yes. Yeah. Well, what it wants. And, and Unity for the Wii was ten thousand dollars. Correct. Right. So they dropped their price. They did. But you have to talk to the person. They don't. <laughs> correct. Exactly. <laughs> uh, but they don't want to publish it. The, the price they right. dropped it. But the problem is to get the license from Nintendo. That's the whole yeah. Difficulty. And to pass through. Yeah. yeah. But I think that being able, as a junior, as, uh, as an indie guy, being able to export to Android uh, and the iPhone and iPad is a great start. Oh, yeah. For sure. You can generate money. And also, uh, very interesting is that Steam came out with the a Mac. Yeah. You're aware of that? The which, sir? Steam. Steam, Steam Engine right. is now on yeah. multi platform. All, right, yeah. all the and as well. Yeah, a lot of the source titles are being ported. So, well, so, the cool thing is that you can make an app, you can make a game, like you make a game. Then you can say, well, I'm going to I'm gonna make it for the iPhone, but then I'm going to port it also up for the PC. Pretty easy to change. And you submit it to Steam, they review it. It's not like, yes, we sell it. Yeah, it's, it's a, a yeah. but direct to drive. Will sell it. Correct. So that's a, yeah, a better bet than Steam. And, and also a lot of content on Direct to Drive. I don't manage it emails. anymore, somebody else manages it for me. The same? They'll return your emails. Steam doesn't return my emails. But why would they? Yeah, yeah. Okay. exactly. Yeah. You said that two months AdMob is going down. No, no, no. There's no time, time set. But it could be any time that uh, Apple says they don't like it. Because why? The name of the new one? The it could be money in their pocket. iAds. iAds. But it's integrated. You have to go to the iPhone SDK. When you go to iTunes, uh, iTunes uh, Connect, there you can find the information about it. Okay. I add, so yeah. like but AdMob is still available for <laughs> Android because it's the same company. Hey, Google makes Android and Google owns 
Add mobs. Or like flash web games or something like that. You go to add mobs. Yeah, you, yeah, you can oh no, it. flash web games is motion mushy ads. Okay. Yeah, but you can build it also in. You can put add mob in flash. On the web you can do it, so on top of it you can do that.